Welcome to this quick video highlighting CodeWords Vessel Wizard feature. Today I want to show you a feature to help you quickly model vessels. So let's get started. Let's use this drawing as an example. Now I went ahead and created this drawing using the CodeWords interface with SolidWorks and quickly populated the design tables. But let's say you got this in from a client and you needed a quote. Now what we can do is we can always go to compress and we can do the freeform modeling that we're all accustomed to where we model component by component. But what if we just wanted to get a quick working model together for either quoting purposes or to get a rough idea? Well, what we can do is take all the general design information from this drawing and enter it into Compress's Vessel Wizard. So let's quickly have a look at this vessel. So what I'm going to do is zoom into the design data, which I've got placed down here in the bottom right hand corner. And we can see here, okay, our design code is going to be the 2013. We're going to design to 100 uh, PSI internal pressure. We're going to consider full vacuum. Our design temperature is going to be 650, and we have a minus 20 MDMT. Okay, so we have the majority of information here. I'll just pan over. We have some basic dimensions that I laid out. So let's switch over to compress. So when we launch Compress, one thing that we'll do is we'll come up to the File menu and we're going to select Vessel Wizard right here. So what, the, what our Vessel Wizard is, is essentially a large dialog that contains the majority of the information. So we can actually go ahead and type this in here. So let's start with the general information. Let's type in where it's going to go. So, then what we'll do is we'll enter into the design conditions. So we said there was going to be 100 PSI, and I'll tab over at 650 degrees, and we're going to consider external pressure, so we'll put 15 PSI in to consider full vacuum, and we're also going to design that at 650. Now we can also allow the vessel wizard to put stiffening rings on the vessel and have spacing uh, specified, but we're going to leave them off for the time being. Our MDMT is going to be minus 20 and we're going to perform the hydrostatic test at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to put in the dimension. So our vessel diameter, 60 inches, and then we can put the tangent to tangent length in. Now we have two options here. You can either put the tangent to tangent length in, or you can specify a capacity, and based on the diameter, the vessel wizard will actually say, you'll need this length tangent to tangent. But let's switch back to SolidWorks. And I've got my tangent to tangent length set at 196 inches. Okay, so I'm going to come back to compress. And I'll type in 196 here. Once we get this information in, we can come down to the general settings right here, where we can select if you'd like to design to division 1 or division 2. Then the vessel orientation, well, it's going to be horizontal, so I'll select horizontal right here. And then the unit, so we can use US customary, we can use metric, or even MKS. We can select different head types that we wish, if we want to use a 2 to 1 head, an FND or hemispherical head, and then the radiography. So I know it's an RT1, so we're going to have full x-rays everywhere. Alright, we're going to jump over to the right side here, and we can also set up Vessel Wizard defaults. So you can actually select a default file, you can set this as your defaults, and where this is really handy is if you're doing a lot of the same type of units. So for example, if you have a 60 inch unit, you build these types all the time, maybe you want to load that in, and then all the information will come in. So you just have to make minor tweaks to the um, inputs. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the materials. So you'll select the shell materials, the head materials, the nozzle materials, things like that. Uh, there's a liquid level in here, we'll activate it right here, and we can specify um, the liquid level from the center line, the specific gravity. Okay, so at this point, we actually have all the information we need to model the main chamber. So if you were to click the finish button down here, the wizard would actually model you the main chamber, and then we can continue our modeling. But we want to continue on, see what other options we have in here. So under the options, we can choose, yes, I'd like to add nozzles, and I'd like to add supports. Since I know it's a horizontal vessel, we're just going to go ahead and put saddles on this vessel for you. So when we activate this, the finish button will actually change and it'll say next because we have some more information to fill out. So we'll go ahead and click next here. And then we can look at adding our nozzles in here. 
Now I had already gone ahead and set up a nozzle uh, beforehand, so you can see here we've identifier N1, uh, nozzle N1, here's the size, the offset, and the angle, things like that. But let's say I want to change this. Maybe I don't want the angle at 270. Well, what you can do is you can select this nozzle and you can edit it. And we can say I want to change the angle here. I want it to be 90 degrees. And I want it to be specified at uh, 48 inches from the right seam. Okay. You can also change the, the size here, the type of nozzle, the projection, things like that. So I'll go ahead and click Save, like so. And then what we can do is we can add any more uh, or any other nozzles we may have on this vessel um, as well. But let's go ahead, let's just add this one nozzle for the time being. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Finish. So once we click the Finish button, Compress will go ahead and generate a working model for us. Now you may notice that I only have one nozzle on here, which that's what I intended to do, but we're still missing those two other nozzles that we saw in the drawing. So for example, if I come back to the drawing, You'll see here, okay, I've got an offset nozzle here and I've got a stud pad on the head. All right. Well, when we get to this point, you can also take over and do any freeform modeling you may have. So you're not bound to doing everything in the Vessel Wizard. So if there's some stuff you want to add afterwards, you can do that. So for example, let's finish up this model. Let's, uh, let's add the hillside nozzle on. So what I'll do is I'll come up to the nozzle menu and I'll select detail design. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy nozzle N1. So I'm going to come down here in the bottom left corner and select copy existing nozzle. We're going to copy N1. And then from here I just need to make a few minor changes. So I'm going to change this to a type 2. I'm going to make this offset. And then I just need to locate on the vessel. So what we're going to do is put on cylinder number 2. Enter in my offset. And change my angle. So I'll click next. I'll click OK and there's our hillside nozzle added on really really quickly okay so now all I need to do is go ahead and add that stud pad on and we'll be done so again all I'm gonna do is come up to the nozzle menu select my detailed design we're gonna change this to a type 12 and then what I'm gonna do is pop down I'm gonna click on my standard size lookup and we're gonna look up our studding outlets so we'll take a 20 inch and we'll take a 300 class um, stud pad I'll click OK then all I need to do is locate it. So what I'll do is I'll go from the right seam and we're going to put this on the left head. Then from here we just need to know an offset, so an offset from the seam to that face of the stud pad. Now for this what we can do is we can, you know, calculate it, type it in. But what I'm going to do is click on this calculate minimum L from desired external projection length, like so. And I'd like it to project out 5 inches. Click OK. And Compress will go ahead and calculate that. So I'll just click next here. As you can see, here's our stud pad, and I'll click Next, and there's the stud pad modeled on the vessel itself. So as you can see, in a very short amount of time, I've taken a drawing that you might receive from a client and quickly model it and compress. So we could go ahead and run the code calculations right now, make sure everything is passing, we can check the thicknesses that would be required, things like that. I'd like to thank you for watching this quick video highlighting Compress's Vessel Wizard. If you have any questions about Compress or you'd like to see a demonstration, please email sales at codeword.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.